of the biggest problems I face, uh, guys, uh, Alec Pierce at the ranch, by the way, is all the junk that I've got. You see, I do hundreds of projects, mechanical and building and everything. So invariably, and I'm sure everybody else has the same problem, I end up with bits and pieces left over. Nails left over. You know, I buy 100 nails, you use 75. Well, yeah, you got 25 nails. You're going to throw them out? Nails, screws, bolts, washers, other bits and pieces, bra you know, all this stuff. And, and unfortunately, what often happens is if you have six nails, 12 bolts and screws, and what do you do with them? Well, there may be a place for them, but that place is over there, or it's over there. So, and so what you do is you tend to put them into a plastic. So pretty soon, that you're, you're, it's full of junk. Not junk, good stuff, but it's all mixed up. Screws, bolts, washers, nuts, nails, everything's in there. A couple of screw eyes and a couple of wing nuts. You know, it's all messed up. And I have a lot of projects. <laughs> so pretty soon, my plastic junk box was full. I could barely lift it up. All good stuff. But I couldn't use it. So what was happening is I knew that I had a half a dozen three-eighths galvanized nuts in there, but I couldn't find them. It would take me an hour to find them, so I go and buy some more. Exactly. Now I'm not talking, uh, you know, preaching to the choir here because I know a lot of you guys are in this exactly the same boat. If you're not, you're lucky. It still might be worthwhile. So a little while ago, I decided I would clean up my workshop, get everything organized, start over again because every time you do a project, you know how it works. Anyway, so so I went and I bought this thing. First of all, you see that, Kevin? It was on sale. It was cheap. And kind of Mickey Mouse, a little bit make plastic. You know, it's not fantastic. But I had all kinds of sorting trays. So then I got my, 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 my box, my box of mixed up junk, right? And I was able to sit here and washer, bolt, wood screw, metal screw. And I was able to sort all these different trays. So I ended up now with a, with a box full of wood screws and a box full of bolts and a box full of nuts and a box full of washers. So one of these trays. And and this, so this is pretty handy. I forget how much it costs. It wasn't a whole lot of money. And you can vary the number of trays. It has dividers. You can change. So this is kind of handy. Now this is not going to stay here. First of all, it takes up too much uh, workspace. Right by my vice, I can get it. This is going out of here after I get all this sorted out. So that was fine. Next step. How do I get this stuff sorted out? Because I have one inch washers, three quarter inch lock washers, shake proof washers. They're all related. They're all a lock type of washer, all different sizes. So what do you do? Ah, so then I went and got these. I bought about five of these now. I give them to all my friends, my brother-in-law, my son. Everybody has, has, has some of these from, from grandpa because they're fantastic. Plus they're cheap. Cheap gifts, yeah. Um, they come with a nice sticker on them. And I think these are seven bucks. They're tough. They're actually a tough plastic. And you see it's just a plastic box. But this is the important thing right there. Yeah, it's got, it's got a trough that you can pour it out. So I hang this. It's got a nail. And I, I just have a nail in the wall. I hang it up there, and it stays there until I need it. So I want to sort out my washers. Because when I was doing this, I had a bunch of washers. Here's what happened. I've got to stop talking for a sec. I got all my washers. All right, there we go. All my washers, all my washers are now into the sorting tray. Right? Look familiar? Great. So now I go through all these washers, and now I, it's easy. They're all spread out. I can see them all. It's fantastic. So that, and that one, and these ones are, I know, are all exactly the same size. I pull all of those out first because they're big, easy to do. Okay, there. Done. Oh, there's one more. Done like that. Now there's a couple of big shake proofs. I'll put them in a separate pile. Then these are all three-eighths. And I pull them out like that, and then I'm pretty soon I'm down to a half a dozen. And the last little bit that's left in here, that is mixed. You know, they're just I have one of these and two of those and one of those and one and one and like that. Then I just dump those out. I leave that. I'll write on it. Mixed washers. Put that somewhere else. But all of these I can now put into the proper place. I go to my plastic shelves on the wall, and there's all my one-inch lock washers in there. All my three-eighths galvanizing. All that. Makes it so easy. So this is really handy. If you have a lot, you can sort it into that first. But this is invaluable. And then later, if I say, gosh, I need a I need a, 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 a three-sixteenth shake proof. Oh, I know there's one in there. Watch. Ah, there it is. So this is really handy. And then afterwards, put it away for the next time. I don't know. Maybe to be helpful, help you clean up the mess that's in your shop. I know if you're active, you've been doing lots of projects, and you have a, a busy, busy workshop, busy garage, you probably could benefit from some of this. I hope so. Talk to you soon again. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Mm -hmm.